Hey everyone, this is Jay, and today I'll be showing you how to configure um, EI Grip on Cisco routers. Alright, so for the network we have here, we have three Cisco routers um, with each two serial WAN links and an end node connected to a fast Ethernet port. So let's start off with configuring the routers. Let's go in here and enter the command line. Uh, I'm going to type conf t, um, and then let's go into the serial connections. So let's type in ns01. Alright, let's start off with the IP addresses. And let's put here 10.10.10.1. Very simple. Okay, and then no shot command. Alright, so as you see here, this problem I went to a few times. Um, you need to manually put in the clock rate of the DC connection which is on this router um, that's what all the clocks mean so on this interface we need to set up set it up manually so to do that we're going to type in clock rate let's go with 64,000 um, these are in bits by the way okay so now let's go to the next interface which is the serial 00 let's type in an IP address of 12.12 space here. 12.12.1. Okay, and then no shutdown command. So in this one I want you to put the clock rate because the other side of the connection will do that for it. Okay, so now let's go to the other interface which is the fast ethernet connection. address let's go with one dot one dot one dot one very simple okay and again then we'll shut down all right so let's get out of this mode all right as for EI grip what you want to type in is router rip and a number that matches um, with uh, the other autonomous systems so let's go with 10 Alright, so you want to put in the networks that are going to send and receive these messages. So let's go with 1.1.10 network 10.10.10.0 and network 12.12. Alright, so that's it. That's it for this router. So let's go on to this one. Again, same thing, enter the command line. Um, so let's start off with configuring this connection here, the serial 00. Let's put an IP address here of 10.10.10.2. Okay, and no shutdown. Okay, so now let's go with the other serial connection, 01. Um, this here basically means that once the connection is established and you have the clock rate established, it'll actually connect to it. Um, if you don't set the clock rate, you won't get that message. So now let's go to the again the next serial connection. All right, let's type in IP. Let's go with. And since this one has a clock here, so we need to manually set the clock rate for the DC E side. Alright, so now let's go to the fast Ethernet connection. Let's go here with 3.3.3.1. Okay, and no shutdown. Alright, so. We set up the three interfaces, so let's go set up EI grip. Alright, so type in EI grip and 10. So let's put in 10. Alright, so 
you see you set up the new agency agency actually um, with the neighboring router which is this one right here and that's when you know you made, you made a connection with it and that EI group is configured properly so let's go with this network okay uh, let's go to the fast ethernet network alright so let's exit out of this one and let's go to the final router alright so again um, of T interface Zero one. Let's go with the IP address of twelve point twelve point twelve point two and the uh, passive uh, subnet mask. Okay, no shutdown. Okay. So now we gotta set up the clock rate on this side. So clock rate 64. Alright, so now let's go to the next one. Zero zero. And let's set up the IP address here, which is eleven. Shutdown command, and now the final interface, which is fast Ethernet zero zero. All right, this is going to be two dot two dot two dot one. So again, let's go set up the egg group. Alright, Alright, you see here once I set that up, I made a connection with the neighboring router. It's a good sign. Alright, and here it goes again. Alright, so now we got, let's set up the IP addresses for the end nodes. Let's go to the IP address, and that is this is. Let's see. And the default community. Alright, let's go to this one. Final one, and this is 2.2.2.1. No, actually, that two. And here is that one, the default gateway. All right, so everything should be working. So now to test this out, let's see if we can ping a neighboring PC or something across the WAN link. So let me go over here and ping this PC right here. So let's try that. That two. Alright, and there you go. So now we have connectivity to this computer. So now let's try we can ping this one. Alright, and there you have it. So now this um, just shows that we have connection throughout the network. Alright, and that's how you configure EI Grip. Thank you very much.